the first part of this video i'll show you the alternative method to change your fps limit second part i'll talk about how and why they patched the original way i'll also talk about some abuse concerns a roblox programmer or staff might have if you are one you should watch the second part on your keyboard press windows key plus r then type in percentage local app data percentage then press enter go to the roblox folder go to global basic settings underscore 13 open this with notepad i'll be using notepad plus plus but it is the same process and go to this line of code over here where it says frame cap you'll be editing this value if you just want an unlimited frame cap just set this value to four nines otherwise you can set it to whatever frame rate limit you want for example 360. and as you can see if i join a game my frames are at 360 locked over the original 240 limit and this is with an unlimited frame cap otherwise four nines now the reason why the original way to change your frame rate limit was passed is because roblox added a new update which is basically an allow list for fast flags. Basically, everything in this list is allowed and usable right now. Everything else that is not in this list is simply unusable and will not register in game. The reasoning as to why they added this is due to cheating and abuse, and I can confidently say that is true. There are multiple fast flags that are quite literally cheating. I know of some that give you x ray, invisibility, and I think no clip, and there's probably more. Bottom line, there's a lot of fast flags that simply give an unfair advantage. Though more frames isn't exactly an unfair advantage, so the reasoning behind why they excluded the original FPS limit fast flags is unclear. But they did state over here that this list will be updated. Updated. Ugh. Basically, this list will be updated and more fast flex may be added into here. Now, to my understanding, technically frame rate could be abused, but in a very different way. Basically, Roblox works in a way where your frame rate is sort of tied with your in game tick rate or, I guess, client send rate. Sometimes, if you go lower than the server's tick rate, your inputs will be a bit goofy, which is why sometimes you see like a mobile player moving in slow motion because they're too laggy and have way too low frames. Thing is, this isn't even the same realm as using a fast flag config, and boom, you have an unfair advantage. That will basically be manipulating tick rate and taking advantage of client send rate being slower to air quotes lag switch in a sort of way. But even then, I don't think somebody can really gain an unfair advantage with less than like 30 FPS on their client, unless they find a workaround, which further proves my point of this not being in the same realm. But other than that, I just wanted to talk about the topic a little. Most of us simply want freedom of our frame rate and to take advantage of the smoothness benefit. Or some of us simply have a higher refresh rate monitor. There's like pl plenty of people with... 360 hertz 390 hertz 480 hertz that do play roblox or well most of us simply like the big number honestly other than that that is all for now hopefully that was helpful have a good day